Okay, good day everybody. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to program an image, a pixel image onto this LED matrix. You can see here, here are some examples and we're running an Android board to operate that. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got an um, we've got an Arduino Uno and let's quickly have a look at the back of this LED matrix okay let's have a look for the name so the name of this board is JXS P10B and the back looks like this and there's a connector that goes to the Arduino board digital pins so um, that's uh, uh, so that's the board, and we're gonna go ahead and look at how to code that. Okay, so first thing we'll do is look for a black and white pixel art picture, and convert it to the right size of thirty-two bit by sixteen. So I will just pick, let's go with this star here, this one looks good. So what I'll do is copy the picture and I am going to use Photoshop. Okay so I have Photoshop open, I'll go File New and just create um, based on the size of the clipboard, I go edit paste. Okay, looks like this picture is no good. We will look for another one. Okay, let's go with this sword and see how it turns out. So we copy this, go to Photoshop, File New and paste okay this one's working it's good it's good so I want to. all right what we'll do is uh first thing we'll do we'll make sure that the it's only black and white colors so we're just going to change this level to make make it a bit darker the white also whiter so drag the end markers closer to the middle and what we we'll do is we're going to go image resize image size and here we know the height of the board it needs to be 16 so we write 16 and we're going to zoom in here so when you zoom in you can pick different style of resampling so we want this one here, the second last one, the nearest neighbor, hard edge. It will make it nice and bright and black and white. So we'll click OK and hold Control and V and click to zoom in. So this picture here is 16 by 16 and we actually need it to be um, 32 width. We got image canvas and I'll change the width to be 32. And I'm gonna have mine like that. Actually, I'm gonna invert the color. How do I invert image? All right, you just press Control I. That will uh, invert that picture. And I'm gonna go to the bucket, paste the black background, and then I'll save that as a bitmap picture so I'm gonna write this click save and click OK let's have a quickly have a quick look at the picture so one sword so there you go this is my bitmap it's really small it's like that all right, so that's the next step. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna convert the picture, the bitmap picture into a 
array of code. So we go to this website, I'm going to put this in the description, retro-esp32 and we're going to convert image to byte array. So we click let's go, upload file and I'll save that as this file here. It needs to be a bitmap file and it's converted so click here to see result. So it's going to be, uh, I'm going to select control A to select all, press control copy and I'm going to go to the folder and I'm going to create a new text file and I'm going to name it, Let's give it a name and then I paste it here. Alright, so once we have this code, we need to convert this slightly. So what we do is we do this manually by using find, um, find and replace. So we just delete the two ends. What we want is, uh, okay, I'm going to select this here and I'm going to go edit, replace. And I'm going to replace that with nothing, press replace all so that we'll get rid of that. And I'm going to select these brackets. I'm going to edit, replace, and replace all with that. And I'm going to um, replace all the closing brackets as well. What I want is just zeros and ones. So this is the black colors here. I'm just going to go replace that as well with the number one, replace all. And this is what I uh, need to use to go to the next step. So what we've done is we select an image, convert it to array of codes, and we convert it to zeros and ones. Let's save that. All right, we're going to the do go to the next step. All right, the next step we're going to use Python. Um, you can get Python by going to Google, down, downloading it, download Python, I spelled that wrong, so it should be uh, python.org, you need to download this coding um, IDE, it's like a window interface, so download and install that, and then once you do that, we are going to use this Python code. All right, so um, you can download this code from, um, I'm going to put it on the description and you can download it to use it yourself. Um, you, you don't just open it, we need to go edit and we're going to edit with IDLE, which is this interface here. All right, so this is the code I've written to convert this into this um, a, a list of commands um, to to make it work with the LED screen. So what you need to do is just rename this to the file that we converted. And if you want to study this code and find out how it works, you can do that yourself. But we're just gonna go save. We can run run the um, the program. And it's got it generate a whole lot of code. All this code, each line specify um, the position of the LEDs and where is it turning on and off. So let's say this first line here. This is the function to um, program the board. This is the position X, position Y, and for zero it means it's off, and for one it's on. So it's basically the code for that. And we copy this code, go hold shift, select all of that, we copy that for the next step. All right, the next step, we are going to Arduino software to uh, load the, the code in. So the board manufacturing website or the resource website is this one so if you go to there um, you can see the products all right on if you go to the bottom you can see information about the board more information about how to cut it to read text but what we'll do is um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to install the, the library software you need to install two things 
So we go down to this readme. Okay, so you need to download this library. It's uh, it's mainly DMD library here. You download it, and then the instructions are here to place this library into the Arduino um, libraries folder. And also, you're gonna need to get this library as well. Timer one download it here and also put it in the library as well so once you have that um, you can uh, use this group to run it so um, yeah this group will load those libraries in once you load the libraries in you can go example and we can choose some demos here but anyways we're gonna look at how to load um, load the, the other code in i'm going to give you this script as well if you um if you want to use it like how i am using it all right so we go down to this loop command and i am going to copy copy all these codes and paste it here and we're going to put in a delay of three seconds and then we just go upload all right i've just connected my arduino board to the computer and i'm just going to label this a sword and then we'll just go upload it just be aware the Arduino has a memory of about 25 kilobytes. Each of these image will be about uh, 10 kilobytes or less. So you can load about four to seven images on the board. All right, looks like it's working and I'll uh, show you the video of, um, of the sword on the board. All right, there you go. That's the Minecraft sword. It's loaded onto the board. So that's how you uh, load a program, a, a uh, pixel picture onto the LED matrix. You can uh, make your own picture and make your own display. So making the text display is easy, but uh, this is the method to convert the pixel image. Have a nice day everybody, take it easy.